Hello guys, this is Little Tools. Today I'm going to show you um, what I've been doing recently. Um, this is a, a high-speed steel paring knife blank. Uh, it's not the paring knife yet because there is no edge. But um, I've been making this uh, into paring knife uh, since I got this from my friend. Um, this is a M2 steel, which is high-speed steel. Um, is basically it's a super steel that has extremely extremely high wear resistance and it can withstand a um, heat okay now this steel is so hard and um, it has so good wear resistance that even though I ground these with the same paper very coarse same paper I ground this about an hour but I still have no edge and it's so hard to make a bevel on this knife. This is already heat treated. Um, this is a rock oil scale about 60 to 61 HRC and then um, it's about a 2.6 millimeter thick I think. But this knife is monster man. Ah, it's so hard to make a bevel. I think I almost uh, need someone to, you know, make a bevel which ha who has a good, you know, uh, machine for, you know, making a bevel. Now, this is from a saw blade, okay? It was cut out from a circular saw so that it can be used as other purposes. Uh, this was from a kin color from Holland and then um, it has two color but I it was same color on this side too but uh, I ground uh, almost all the co coatings here because I just wanted to see the um, silver color on the this side and the gold color on the other side w which is this is not a paint um, this is a, a titan titanium nitride coating uh, which was supposed to be uh, for uh, you know good for circular saw because when you cut cut steel uh, they tend, steel tends to stick to the uh, saw then you can make a lot of frictions and all that so this coating makes um, circular saw more durable more durable and cuts better now uh, also a uh, rust resistance but um, coating was already off because the saw was uh, you know used almost used so it has been recycled as a making a knife uh, anyway I just want to you know see underneath underneath it so here is it now I try to make a flat surface on this side to make a bevel now uh, it has more wear, wear resistance than O1 uh, I believe it's a uh, 3.5 times wear resistance so which means that I can use this knife longer than the O1 doing the same job. Okay, it it just cuts more and more. Okay, it has even more resist wear resistance than D2. Okay, about 60 to 70 percent higher wear resistance. D2 is amazing steel for knife. They you know they just you know they just really works well for the knife. They have high wear resistance. Now, um, that's about it. I just ground, rounded at the uh, corner so that my hands don't get hurt when using it. I, I'm just thinking, you know, wrapping around some leather to you know have a bare grip. You know, I just made these to um, left-handed. I'm sure you could get a lot of the um, M2 blanks around you, or you know, even have a circular saw for steel cutting you, you know go to the laser guy and have them cut for yourself then you can have very nice heat already heat treated steel you know these are the first super steel I've, I've been using I mean I've been trying to use um, the one downside is that it's so hard to sharpen okay like I said it has so good wear resistance which means it's so hard to sharpen with regular stuff, regular stones or regular equipment. Okay, even I have really, ha I'm having really trouble, you know, making a bevel because I've been ground these 
on sandpaper for two one over two hours and look at that it it doesn't want to get bevel okay so once it's sharpened uh, it will stay it will have a very sharp edge and holds an edge very well but uh, problem is you can't get an edge with the ordinary stuff so this is the only one downside with the super steels um, I mean high speed steels um, high speed comes from you know when this high speed steel is really popular on wood turners you know when on the lathe and wood turns and you can you know carve things out from the wood turning now um, when the wood turns the um, when there's a friction at the tip so when the f heat goes up more than the um, allowed uh, this blade will you know lose the temper and it will blunt get quickly and you will ruin the knife but high speed steel does not lose the temper easily um, they we can stand sti uh, heat very well so that's named high speed steel now so you know it has good characteristic for knives you know very tough high wear resistance but hard to sharpen so hard to sharpen that um, no people can even sharpen okay even though this was already a bevel you, it's hard to sharpen with the normal paper I think you need some kind of um, diamond plate or some kind of uh, grinder you know cooling off time to time and you should use some kind of grinder to you know sharpen these I'll make an update video about this knife pairing knife you know when once it gets sharpened it will be awesome awesome knife but um, D2 and O1 is also you know good steel I'm not saying as this is better than O1 D2 because uh, when you pair, use knife often or you, you pair the knife uh, you need to have very very sharp edge and then uh, D2 and O1 is, is such a great steel that you can easily sharpen with the Japanese wordstone and you can use it you know just like easily sharpen with this drop uh, easily sharpen with the uh, Japanese wordstone and you can use it you know very very conveniently very you know without any problem but this uh, you may you know sharpen it w about uh, once a six months you know you can so basically you sharpen the knife twice a year you know that's amazing right but once you sharpen the knife you need to ha take more time about you know I'm sure about four hours three or four hours sharpening it so I so it's basically same you know because you you, you just you know drop it uh, O1 or D2 you know one minute or 30 seconds that times you know all the sum up that all the times you sharpen those knives that will become four or five hours in the year so you know it's basically the same I think but you know just you know once twice a year just will save you a lot of time if you are working on a timely basis you know just um, there are no perfect steels or there are no best steels for everything okay uh, you just uh, need steels for one type of work and better steel for one type of work it's just for your preference you know I'm just trying to you know get a taste of a M2 steel for a knife uh, you know by the way M2s are not really seen on the on the other conventional make knife makers because it's replaced by M4 which is better you know more wear resistance more like uh, you know m35 or m m4 is better than m2 so they all replace these these are like now it's used as a drill bits okay m2s are mostly used as drill bits or taps and dies you know just you know but i i, would, I just the m2 is just fine for me you know i i don't want to go higher than this you know you know 3v is also very famous for have high wear resistance but m2 is better than 3v so uh, among d2 o1 and 3v this is better have more wear resistance so i'm going to try what the high speed steel m2 is feels like what's what's better and what's not good you know i'm going to make an updated video after making bevel you know become really nice you know, it's, this is not a knife. Look at that. It's fat, fat bevel. <laughs> okay, that's about it, guys. Thank you for watching, and I hope you press your thumbs up and subscribe to my channel.
Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.